When I realized that there are different curly hair washes for different goals, I realized that I could create a curly hair wash routine for hair growth. And when I started washing my hair like this, I was able to grow my hair so long. Hi guys, it's Lana here. Welcome back to Lana Summer Summertime. I wanna show you my curly hair wash routine for maximum hair growth. I've done tons of wash routines on this channel and usually I'm focusing on definition or maximum volume, but in this wash routine, I'm focusing on hair growth. This is definitely the wash routine you wanna do if hair growth is your goal. My last couple of videos have been about hair growth and I really wanna make it a bit of a series for January because a lot of us are setting new goals in January January and a lot of those goals are about growing our hair really really long so I'm just here to help in any way that I can a wash routine that focuses on hair growth does differ slightly from one that focuses on definition or volume or any of that kind of stuff this wash routine we're gonna focus on all of those little tips and techniques that you can use in your wash routine that are really gonna make your hair grow the most it does take a little bit longer I do use different products and I don't do it every week week to week i'm focusing on definition and making my hair look popping the way that we like it i'd say every month or every six weeks or something like that i like to do a wash routine like this so if you are ready to unlock maximum hair growth then keep on watching Okay, so the first step in my curly wash routine for hair growth is to pre-poo. So I don't pre-poo all the time, but in a hair growth routine, I'm definitely gonna make sure I do it. And that's for three reasons. When your hair is a little bit dry, or if you haven't applied moisture to your hair for a while, the first time you do it, after a long time, it can actually flood your hair. I call it aqua shock, because I think that's a better word than the real word for it. But basically your hair forgets how to deal with water and it suddenly just opens the floodgates lets all the water in your hair gets swollen and gorged and it can actually get damaged because of all of that water so it's a great idea just to put something with an oil base or like a lot of pre-poo products have an oil base and that can actually ease that water in so that it doesn't cause all of that flood damage the second reason is because shampoos can be a little bit harsh and I don't want to pick on sulfates but sulfates can be a bit harsh and even shampoos without sulfates can be a little bit harsh on hair sometimes so the pre-poo can really help to protect your hair against shampoo and the third reason is because a lot of pre-poo products are really great at helping you to detangle your hair and in my opinion it's great to detangle your hair before you step into the shower before you put water and shampoo on your hair because that combination of water and shampoo literally tangles my hair times 10 I get so many tangles at that point so I think it's a great idea to detangle your hair before all of that so the pre-poo product can really help you do that the pre-poo product that I'm using today is on Jackie's Curls and Coils, not on my watch. I was so excited because I love that meme so much. Not on my watch. And it's the instant detangling therapy. So I'm super excited to use this. I've never used this one before. My hair today is hella tangled and dry. It's crispy. So it says on the bottle to be generous with this. So I am actually applying a lot. And then that actually helps me to split my hair into sections so that I can start actually working through my hair and getting all the tangles out. So I sprayed it with a little bit of water to help the product and then applied a lot of product and then just started at the bottom and worked my way up. So this extra step, this little pre-poo right here, really helps to lose less hair, especially when you combine it with a pre-poo detangling product. So my hair is fully detangled and this is all the hair that came out. So I don't know if it might look like a lot now, but this is so much less than what I would get if I was detangling my hair in the shower like I usually do. Pro tips, you know. And now I'm gonna go in with my second pre-poo product, which is the Floor and Curl Soothe Me Scalp Refresh pre-shampoo oil. So I like to use this on my scalp. It's for your scalp. So this is just really great at loosening up all of that product buildup and scalp residue before we go in with the shampoo. And it's gonna make my scalp nice and healthy, which is key for hair growth. So it's really important in a hair growth routine. For this hair growth routine, I wanna switch up my products. So I'm gonna use the Aveda Botanical Repair line. 
This is a plant-derived bonding treatment and you can think of it like a protein treatment. So it's really great for hair growth. It's really gonna strengthen the hair. I'm gonna apply that all over my hair, but especially on my scalp. And I'm really gonna work that into my scalp and lift off any of that buildup and give my head a bit of a massage as well, because as you know, a massage is great for hair growth. If you have one of those little vibrating brushes, that's great as well, but I left mine when I moved, I lost it. Then I'm gonna rinse that with lukewarm water. You guys know the deal with that boiling hot water. Please don't be putting that steaming hot water onto your hair. And then I'm gonna be using the conditioner from the same line. A general rule of thumb is if it says that it's strengthening, it usually has some kind of protein action going on in the product. And I don't wanna use protein products too much because you can end up with protein overload. It can make your hair brittle. So limiting protein products to once a month, once every five weeks, something like that is great. And it's great for hair growth. Also, I'm so happy that I detangled my hair before I hopped in the shower because these products and my brush are just gliding through my hair. It's amazing. The last product in my wash routine is the Intensive Strengthening Mask. This is super rich, super intense. So I'm only gonna leave it on my hair for five minutes. It's just really great to add some protein into your hair care routines because we focus so much on moisture, sometimes we forget about protein. So I'm leaving that on my hair with a foil cap and then rinsing it off. Hey, so I'm back over here, <laughs> back in the bedroom. I have rinsed everything out of my hair. I've rinsed out that deep conditioner and now we can move on to styling. So I really don't do too much when it comes to styling, but there are two products that are really important for me for this wash routine. So I'm gonna use a leave-in conditioner. This is the Quench & Co leave-in conditioner by Rhyme & Reason. The packaging is made from recycled plastic. They are 97% plant derived and they're vegan friendly. So I absolutely love this. It literally moisturizes your hair so much. My hair stays moisturized and defined all week like literally my sister was saying to me lana how does your how do you make your hair stay like 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 how do you make your hair do that and i was thinking i was like i haven't really done anything differently it was this my hair was just so nourished all week so that's why i love this for a hair growth routine because my hair stays nourished because my hair is so healthy and that is obviously so important to hair growth however i wouldn't really use this if this was like a volumizing routine or something because this actually weighs my hair down a lot like it kind of doesn't matter how little of this I put on my hair it still ends up really clumping my curls together and really just weighing my hair down a lot it's really quite heavy like it's just heavy because it is packing a mighty punch oh my god I was about to pick up this big tub by the pump don't do that because it will come off and then I'm gonna use the Flora & Co Curl Defining Gel. So I love this so much that I actually have the liter sized bottle. So this as a gel by itself doesn't weigh your hair down or anything like that. It just helps to add a little bit of definition. Well, kind of a lot of definition. And it's just very, very lightweight. I just really love it. And it smells amazing. And it's all natural ingredients. It's perfect. So I'm just gonna spray my hair. Why did I shake it? It's just water. I'm just gonna spray my hair again because it did get a bit drier while I was talking. I'd like my hair to be like wet wet when I start the styling routine. And then when it comes to kind of styling my hair or manipulating my hair or anything like that, I am not going to do any kind of harsh curl forming technique on my hair today. Obviously, that would be part of a defining wash routine. But today we're focusing on hair growth. And I really don't want to do anything too harsh with my hair. It's just better to have no manipulation than even a tiny bit. Also, I feel like having really, really defined hair, really stand out curls, I feel like that creates tangles. So I prefer to avoid it. I will just run my brush through my hair like this a couple of times just to get the curls popping in like three sections of hair like this and then this bottom one as well and now now that my hair has got its moisture i'm gonna go in with a little bit of defining gel Okay, and the last step is drying my hair. Some of you might think that air drying would be the best thing for hair, hair, hair growth. I was trying to say hair growth and hair drying at the same time. Girl. Some of you might think that air drying would be the best thing for hair growth because there's no heat involved, so it's like really gonna healthy. However, 
I don't like air drying. I'm in the UK, it's January, it's winter, and my hair would literally take about 24 hours to dry. Like, not kidding. It might not even be fully dry after 24 hours. I don't think that that's good for my hair. I think that that actually puts my hair at risk of having high growth fatigue, and that's just where your hair is in a really wet environment for a really long time. I could even end up with fungus on my hair and all kinds of things. I don't want that. So, I am just gonna help my hair along with some diffusing. I'm gonna have it on the lowest heat setting and the lowest power setting. <laughs> So I'm just gonna leave it there for now. I'm gonna air dry for about an hour or so and then I'll come back and I'll finish off. And I just have one last step and that's to apply some oil. So this is the La Zartigue oil. And this is a nourishing oil. I like to just drop some into my hand and I just run that through my hair. I should really section my hair. So you see how my hair, where it's not very defined, it's really not clumping together very much. It's kind of just doing its own thing and it's quite easy to separate. Like I don't have to kind of like fiddle around to separate it from, from curls like this. So that's just gonna make sure that my hair doesn't get super tangled, which is gonna prevent breakage, it's gonna prevent hair loss. That helps a ton with hair growth. There we have it, that is my curly hair wash routine for hair growth. I know it's not the most volumized and I know it's not the most defined, but this is the routine that's gonna help me and you grow your hair the longest that it's ever been. That is everything from me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you maybe learned something. If you did, please thumbs it up. Also, let me know in the comment section what you wanna see next. I I have one more video in my January hair growth series and then I'm back to regular curly Fridays like curly fry so there'll be a curly hair video on this page every Friday if you want to see that then make sure you're subscribed and you've got your notifications on thanks so much for sticking with me until the end I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video bye